Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. Uh, the problem reads car A is traveling with a constant speed of 80 kilo kilometer per hour due north. Okay, car B is traveling with a constant speed of 100 kilometer per uh, hour due east. Determine the velocity of car B relative to car A. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics 14th edition by RC Bella. So we are dealing with the relative motion. We are dealing with relative motion. And if we are to express um, what we are being asked right now, we are being asked to determine the velocity of car B relative to car A. Velocity, expressing it as a vector. The velocity of car B relative to car A. And this is going to be equal to velocity B minus velocity A. Velocity A and velocity B are absolute velocities. Velocity A and velocity B are absolute velocities because we are or they are being observed observed from a fixed reference frame. Velocity A and velocity B are absolute velocities because they are being observed from a fixed reference frame. Velocity B stroke A, which is um, a velocity of car B relative to car A is a relative velocity. Velocity B stroke A is a relative velocity because it's been observed from a translating reference frame. And in our case, our translating reference frame is going to be A. Okay. This is going to be our translating reference frame. Let me just indicate it. And we are going to give it, before I do so, let me first assign my fixed reference frame. Okay, I give it the coordinates. So this one is my fixed reference frame. So this one here is positive x and the positive y. And then I have my uh, translating reference frame at A. Okay, whose coordinates are parallel to the fixed. Uh, and this one is going to be equal to y, y prime and x prime. So velocity b stroke a, which is a relative velocity, is observed from a translating reference frame. In our case, it's been observed from point A. Velocity of car b relative to car a is being observed from the translating reference frame, which is where at A. So x prime and the y prime will translate okay no change in direction okay x prime and y prime will only translate and no change in direction and therefore we expect our relative velocity to only have change in magnitude only change in magnitudes okay all right these are the only things that we are going to be dealing with because x prime and y prime only translates and no change in direction okay that is very very important so we right so having said that then we can straight away uh, start working so we know that our va va is equal to uh, 80 kilo newtons so i'll write it as a vector 80 kilo newton sorry is up like so okay so 80 kilo newton j all right like so okay and vb is equal to 100 kilo newton i therefore the relative velocity v B stroke A, which is going to be equal to a component, okay, in the I direction plus a component in the J direction. Then later on, we sum up these two, then equal to VA, VB minus VA which is equal to um, 100, 100 i minus 
ATJ. Okay. And therefore, our VBA is equal to 100I minus ATJ, where uh, VB, uh, VB, this is the X component, this is the Y component. VBX is equal to uh, 100 and uh, VBY is equal to uh, minus 80. Okay. So now let's find the magnitude. Magnitude of our relative velocity uh, using vector expression. So this is just going to be equal to we have VBA x is squared plus VB a i squared and therefore our magnitude our magnitude becomes equal to our magnitude becomes equal to we plug in those values in there so we have 100 squared plus 80 squared square root of that we have a 128.06 uh, kilometers per hour. All right. So let's find this direction. So we'll say theta is just going to be equal to a tan inverse of VB, VBA, Y divided by VBA x and once we plug in those values in there theta is just going to be equal to these are the values here plug them in so it will be minus minus 80 divided by 100 and then uh, turn inverse of that it gives us a minus 38.66 minus just shows that usually we measure angles and clockwise like so positive then clockwise like so is negative so this is just what it means from the horizontal axis okay so let's draw this so we have one component in that direction we have one down like so okay and then we have our resultant which is closer to the horizontal axis, right? Let's say something like so. All right. So this one here is our VB. This is our VB, like so. And then this, this one is our VB X. This one is our VB y and then this angle here is our theta okay so let's uh, outline the final solution so we have vba of course the components are there we have this magnitude okay and we have this direction right i think this is really about it and i hope this video was helpful and if it was uh, give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing liking my channel bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast